Hi, it's Sally, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set your default margins in Microsoft Word 2016. Now keep in mind if you're using a somewhat recent version of Word, it's going to be very similar to this. If you're using a really old version, um, it, it might vary a bit, but for most versions that you would be using today, it should be very similar. So say you open up your document and uh, you frequently notice that you're changing the margin, so you all you decide you always want to open it with these particular settings. So it's really easy to do. Uh, all you need to do is go to layout up here and then on margins you're going to want to click on this arrow that drops down and go down to custom margins. So this is where you can adjust your margin. So if you want to just do like a half inch margin everywhere. So on your top and bottom, left and right, uh, you can do that right there. Uh, now if you want these to always be your default settings, you can just click on set as default. That's going to ask uh, if you want to change them, that it's going to uh, affect all new documents when you open in the normal template, which is the default. So you can click on yes. So going forward, whenever I open a new document, it's going to have those settings. Now if I decide later on, uh, maybe I want to go back to having an inch or whatever you want. You can go right back to margins, go to custom margins. Um, you can also actually, let me show you this, you can actually select one of these. So if there's normal, these are default settings here. So if you want to go back to normal and click on normal, and then I would go on custom margins. That way it just resets all the, the default settings for you. And then you can set it as default. So then that's going to change them back to a one inch margin for every new document that you open. So margins are pretty easy actually to manage in Microsoft Word. Some things are a little more complicated, but this is one of the hopefully easier things for you. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't first uh, forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you found this useful, leave me a comment comment, question, um, and be sure to check out my new uh, website, uh, simplesoftwaretutorials.com, and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.